Today's soldier requires an understanding of topography, terrain, and key tactical locations to successfully accomplish missions in an area of interest. An important part of gathering current topographic information involves soldiers performing reconnaissance missions. Before the advent of computers, digital photography, and high-speed communications, gathering this type of information was done by analog means. No longer. In the year 2000, the U.S. Army Engineer School directed that the analog surveying and sketching set be updated with a more modern set of tools that has now become NFIRE. Technological innovations allowed for the replacement of every component in the current surveying and sketching set with the more accurate and precise computer-based components. The NFIRE system consists of the commercial off-the-shelf or COTS hardware components, government off-the-shelf or GOTS, and customized software applications designed to assist the soldier in the information gathering process. The current NFIRE design enables the soldier to quickly capture and store digital information on roads, bridges, and route reconnaissance. Soldiers collect information by filling the fields in a graphic user interface, or GUI interface, designed to ensure all relevant information is gathered. Distance, height, width, area, and slope are quickly and precisely measured using a variety of laser rangefinders and the Defense Advanced GPS Receiver, or DAGGER, which can capture current and standoff positions and an accuracy approaching one meter. Actual images and video are captured using a digital camcorder. Data is automatically transferred to the proper fields in a route, road, bridge, or minefield report through either physical or wireless connections between the devices and the ruggedized tablet PC. Information will be disseminated via electronic or hard copy DA reports, XML file transfer, or through the Battle Command Web Services. The Tactical Operations Center, or TOC, can be updated immediately after the soldiers finish conducting a reconnaissance via Joint Variable Message Format, or JVMF. At the TOC, this information immediately impacts the commander's decision-making process. In addition to assisting the soldier in capturing reconnaissance data, NFIRE contains tools to assist soldiers with construction engineering, facilities management, site planning, building design, inventory management, project management, survivability and damage assessment, measurement conversion, and other more common computer-based activities such as document preparation and spreadsheet creation. Future plans envision NFIRE leveraging the capabilities of the Global Information Grid to transmit data up the chain of command to the Joint Tactical Common Operational Picture Workstation, or JTCW. The JCTW will play an important part in realizing the Army's Every Soldier is a Sensor, or ES2, goal by providing the commander with timely information that is critical to effective decision making. When this goal is achieved, soldiers will be able to provide the commander with frontline feedback to include bridge, road, route, demolition, tunnel, ferry, fording, and other types of reconnaissance reports to update the COP. Just as important to the soldier collecting data using NFIRE will be the ability to receive timely mission guidance from their chain of command via a data feed into their NFIRE set, including weather warnings, red and blue force locations, and road and bridge classification updates. Transmitting data between devices requires bandwidth. Current bandwidth available for the Singar's radio is minimal, allowing only for the transmission of compressed data formats. As the next generation Joint Tactical Radio System, or JTRS radio, becomes more prevalent, NFIRE applications will be able to leverage the greater bandwidth. NFIRE provides the soldier with a multitude of electronic tools not available in the current surveying and sketching set, and allows soldiers to conduct surveying and reconnaissance missions more accurately and quickly. As the soldier incorporates the advantages that NFIRE offers into the daily tasks in which he must perform, the advantages in accuracy and timeliness of relevant data will help the Army realize the goal of information dominance.